Hey guys and girls, in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and uh, prepare the Pets Fang for printing. Um, I've printed it and then I'm going to show you how to install it. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to Thingiverse, search for Pets Fang. And you're going to get a few different um, models come up. So you want the uh, Modular V2. Uh, it's got quite a lot of uh, people have collected this, so let's double click. And if you scroll down, it gives you loads of information on how to print it, what extra screws you need, um, what resolution you should be printing it in. But it can be quite confusing. So if we click and download the file, and I'll show you. So let's open this up. And we can see here that it's got quite a lot of files. So I'm printing for the Ender 3. So it does, if you read through the instructions, tell you what you need for the Ender 3. Um, and what you're looking for is... Uh, so what you're looking for is the CR10 stock manual base and CR10 Evo stock fan. And you can you can confirm this is correct just by bringing back up the the pets fang page and it says here in big red letters uh, what to print so click it and it says here uh, it's CR10 Ender 3 Ender 2 so here we go stock or micro Swiss end so we're using the stock end so we come down we want the base file which is the CR10 stock manual base v7.5 uh, CR10 stock manual base v7.5 and then we want the duct, which is the, are we using the stock fan? So CR10 and TiVo stock fan duct, CR10 TiVo stock fan duct 7.5. So they're definitely the right files. They're the two we've got to print. So I'm using uh, Simplify 3D. So I'm gonna bring both of those into Simplify 3D and we can have a look at those. So a lot of people Oh, I've seen a couple of people on YouTube make the mistake of um, trying to print the fangs like this mm -hmm. and then they go ahead and they add a whole load of support um, which generally isn't needed so they put loads of support in the middle you don't need that you don't need to do that quite simply print it laying down like that if you're printing on glass or a mirror you will get a super shiny front and it will look amazing now I have printed this without any support you do not need support for this um, give it a go so what about the, um, the bracket so if we bring the bracket in and I'll show you how I printed this so for this one um, again show me which way I printed it is it like that yeah so I printed it like this and did I add, you yeah, added uh, support to this. So you can see here the support went in here and here. And yeah, that was it. So that's the way I would recommend printing. Um, so they printed, printed pretty well. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's um, let's get on and do the install. Okay, so we've got the pet's fang printed, the two parts, so the mount and the actual fang. And I'm just gonna do a very quick um, video to show you how to attach this. So, 
the first thing you want to do is you want to undo the two screws here and here to take off the main cover and the reason I'm doing this front facing I've seen quite a few videos that are side on but it can actually make it quite awkward to see what is going on so we take off the two screws and we are going to use both of these um, and I know what you're thinking that it doesn't fit but there's a little trick to that okay so that's the main part detached now we want to take out the fan from inside so we just can undo that one Make sure you don't lose your screws. If you are thinking of replacing any of the internal fans, they are 24 volt, not 12. That's actually a bit. that a quick get all the dust and gunk out of it okay right so we can now put our mount on and if I show you. So that will just go on like so. It should. You should notice that there's a groove here that will line up. And you want to grab one of the original screws. Okay, so that screws on there. The other screw goes in here. Now, the problem is that it is too short. So if you want to put that through there, it's not going to work. Okay, it's not long enough. But what you can do is you can cheat and you can put it in from behind. And if you put it in from behind, it will catch and it is, it's perfectly adequate to be able to hold that together so just line up and get that one okay so that's through and that's done up nice and tight okay so we've now got to attach this fan now this fan just goes straight on here like so
Okay, so all four. So these are just the stock screws that have been used. Okay. So that's the, the main bracket and the original stock fan on. I'm now going to undo the uh, blower. So this blower has four screws. Okay. Got two that hold this. piece on and one just doesn't want to play today okay so obviously so with the fangs this one goes on top Helps get it the right way around. Okay, like so. And then obviously this will mount onto here. Making sure the wires are out the way. Like so. Okay, so to attach this fan, you just want the two screws that came with it, and they'll go through there and there. And to attach the fan to the actual um, bracket, now some people have said you can use those screws, but they just, as far as I'm concerned, don't fit, don't hold it in place. So what you're going to want to do is grab um, some extra screws. Um, something similar to this just to go through the side and then you can whether you put two or four on it's entirely up to you I'll put four so I'll put um, four of these one two three four and that will secure the uh, pets fang in place so that's technically how you install it um, you want to make sure it's not too low so you don't want it down here below uh, where it should be so just about there okay and that is how you would go about installing the uh, pets fang i'm not going to put the two final screws in here and here because i have uh, no intention of using the pets fang i have got something better coming up so uh, stay tuned to the channel and um Check out the next video.